So, let's solve this 4x4 four four cube here. The first step is to make the white side. Let's try to put the white pieces together here. Make this first half white here. I've already found it here. Done. It can be any side. I made a half white here. Now I'm going to make the opposite side up here, the yellow one. Done. So I made the bottom side white and the top side yellow. Now I'm going to try to find the one that's most complete here, look. The red one is most complete. So I'm going to bring this red piece here. How am I going to do that? I'm going to position this red one here on the top left so that when I move this red piece up, it will match and I'll move it down. Done. Now here we made the white one, it's done, the top yellow one, it's done, and the red one. Now, from here on, I have to pay attention to one thing. The centers of this cube are not fixed. So, if the red one is here, I have to know which one will be here and which one will be here. To know exactly, what do I do? I take a piece from here, look, in this corner, and use it as a reference. Look. If this side here is red, then this side here has to be blue. I can't break this rule because if I don't make the blue here, the cube won't work. So here I'm going to make the blue cube or blue side, the same way I made the others. Let's go. I'm going to put the blue pieces together. Since I've already made the white and yellow, I can move them around like this so they won't get mixed up. Now I'm going to bring these two here, these two blue pieces. Okay, I made the blue one on the left side of the red one. If this side here is blue, the opposite side of the red is orange and the opposite side of the blue is green. So here the opposite side of the red one is orange, so I have to bring the orange one down. And now here like this, I'm going to do the same as I did that time. I'm going to bring the orange one here in a position so that when I raise this orange piece here, it will do this here and I'll move it down. Okay, now I've done all the middles of the cube. White on the bottom, yellow on top and the middles. Now the next step is to join these sides here. You have to make them the same. How am I going to do that? I'm going to look for both sides here, look. In this case here, green, red, green, red, I have to join a pair here. Since it's on the same line, I have to do this maneuver here to get it off the same line. I throw it to the right, backwards. Here behind I go up and now I do too. So, the piece that was here, it came here. Now, how do I join these two pieces? I'm going to do this maneuver, I'm going to join it here, then I'm going to take it off this line. But whenever I do this now, since it's the first time I'm doing it, I know that all the pieces are mixed up, but whenever I do this maneuver here, in my right hand, down here, I have to pay attention that there can't be a pair together, because I'm going to undo this pair here. Since this is the first time I'm doing it, there are no pairs together. So what do I do? I put these two together. It's perfect. Red and green. Now I'm going to take it off here. I throw it to the right, down, and I'll go back up here. But one very important thing you can't forget is to put the middle pieces back together. Look, I put all the middle pieces together correctly, green, orange. And I have a perfect pair here. And I'm going to do this for all of them. I'm going to do one more here so it's really fixed. I'm going to look here. 
I found blue and white. Blue and white. In my right hand I have to look here, look. There's no perfect pair. So I can do it. I go up here, turn around, go down, come back and now I put the red ones together. If you forget this part of putting them together, you'll undo your work, you'll undo your middle pieces. Now, at this point, I've already done all the pairs here, everything correctly. And there are only two pairs left to do. And if you try to do it the way I taught you, you'll keep doing, undoing, doing, undoing. Okay, here, look, it's done. So, in this position here, look, you'll see that the blue and yellow are on the opposite side. I don't want that to happen. So, I'm going to throw it to the side, backwards, go up and do a U2. The maneuver has to be done like this, look. Blue and blue and yellow here in the same line. Green, yellow, green and yellow. Now, the algorithm is as follows. I'm going to go down just one. I went down, I go, I recorded this sequence in the form of a record. How do I do it? I start by opening the record. I'm going to open a record on top. I close, open, close and open. Did you see that I started by opening? A, open, close, open, close and open. And now I'm going to join the greens. Let's see if it will work here, look. Green, yellow, blue and yellow. Now that we've solved all the corners here, these pairs and all the means, we're going to solve it as if it were a 3x3 cube. Let's make a yellow cross, put the corners, the sides and solve it. Now here, at this moment I'm solving the cube as if it were a 3x3. I've already done the first line here, second line. When you get up here to this part of the yellow cross, you might see some really bizarre things that you've never seen in a 3x3. A cross with three sides might appear. This can happen. We'll call this parody. To solve these parodies, I'll leave a card up here in another video where I explain only about parody. Well, if you happen to do the cross and can't get all three sides up, and there's always one side that's not yellow, you'll solve it the same way. Keep solving. Look, let's do a yellow cross here. Luckily, this yellow cross will skip steps and go up to the yellow corners. And now here I'm solving it like 3x3. Three three. Now I'm going to do the L, get these sides right here. Here. I'm going to do the L again to get this front side right. And here I'm missing the Minerva. If you don't know how to make a 3x3 three three cube, I'll leave a card here, a link to the video where I teach you how to make a 3x3. Three three. Because to make this cube here, you have to know how to solve the 3x3, three three, because we're going to use the same algorithm. And if you find yourself in a situation where only this appears here, all three faces are correct and a here or here appears, you can't solve it by using the Minerva maneuver. These are specific parody algorithms that I'll also leave a link here above to help you solve these parodies. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.